Science is everything. It brought the dinosaurs back from beyond the brink, and it is keeping them here now. I hope you understand how vitally important this is. Ah, oh, I haven't introduced myself. Dr. Kajal Dua. You need to be as passionate about our work as I am. I'll accept no less. The Australovenator has been labelled the cheater of its time, and I can certainly see why. Here we have a hunter with terrific speed, power and focus. The makeup of a perfect prehistoric predator, really. Just don't get spotted, because there's no way you're going to outrun this one. Talk about the opposite of subtle. And I don't mean Owen. No, this is the Chasmosaurus. It has dynamic coloring and these large openings, called fenestrae, in a frill that rises above its head. This is a dinosaur that says, look at me. So, maybe a little like Owen. Every dinosaur that's recreated is important, but some also capture our imaginations. The Allosaurus is one such animal. It is believed that in its original environment, it was squarely at the top of the food chain. I'm interested to discover if that's true, given the opportunity. First discovered in China, the Chunkingosaurus has distinctive twin plates that run along its back, and it can swing its spiked tail, called a thagomizer, like a massive medieval mace. This is a dinosaur best observed at a distance. We know this animal's primary habitat was the ancient primordial forest that once covered this planet. It's called Dryosaurus. Before our research, there was no information on adult specimens of this dinosaur. We only had the fossilized record of juveniles. But now, that's all changed. Known as the Chambered Lizard, the Chimerosaurus impresses with both its size and its blunt snout. It prefers to live in groups, a challenge, but one I'm confident you can handle. They did this in the wild. Now they can fight in captivity. Okay, what we have here is a Brachiosaurus. It has long limbs relative to the rest of its body. And what makes it really unique is that it's a warm-blooded dinosaur. I mean, how amazing is it that in bringing these dinosaurs back, we're also learning so much about them? I work with the dinosaurs, and now you do too. I'm Owen Grady. From my experience, I've learned the most important thing is to respect these animals, because if you don't, they won't have any trouble making you their next meal. This dinosaur, the Corythosaurus, is a duck-billed animal that looks like it's wearing a helmet. I mean, check that thing out. I wouldn't want to butt heads with it.
Now, stay with me. This dinosaur is called a Carcharodontosaurus. Talk about a mouthful, right? And seeing that this animal is an alpha predator, its mouth is usually full of the slow, the weak, and the inattentive. <laughs> Hence the reason I'm not getting near it. You, on the other hand, Some of these animals present a real test of our abilities. Take, for instance, this latest dinosaur, the Gallimimus. It's an opportunistic omnivore that does best in groups. That alone isn't the problem. But the speed. Gallimimus is incredibly fast, which presents special challenges for the ranger teams tasked with monitoring them. <laughs> 